Yep, mix it together real so that it all comes together. Yep. Now, in this instance, I don't always like a towel underneath me because remember, scrape around the sides with your hands, collect it all together. Yep, yep. Yep, I'm going to turn the bowl for you. It makes it a little easier. Good. All right, now bring it all together so that it's a ball. Anna, tell us what you're making. Power. Power right. <clears throat> Keep mixing, Hannah. It doesn't matter if your hands are goofy and gross. Because the more you bring them together, the, the more that dough is going to set and it's going to come off your fingers automatically. Okay, now, now that it's really basically together, what I want you to do is to kind of take the palms of your hands and push the dough away from you. Okay, now, yep. And then at the top, roll it back to you and then push it away again. There you go. I'm going to turn the bowl. Pull, no, pull it from the top towards you. Now push it away with the palms of your hands. Roll it up, push it away. Roll it up and push it away. There you go. Excellent. Now turn the bowl again. Okay, there, excellent. You see how it's coming together a little bit and it's coming off of your hands just a tiny bit? Yeah. Does it feel super wet to you? What? Uh, no. Let me see. Okay, keep going. I'm going to give you a little more flour. This is just the, the eyes of experience. Okay. Keep going. Good. Keep turning it. Now, um, yeah, push it away. Now you can take your hands and you can peel off some of the dough off your fingers. You see how it's coming off a lot easier than it did a second ago? Yes. Okay, good. So you see it's starting to come together. So we have to, we have to knead it for about 10 minutes. Okay. okay. What is that? All right, good. All right, so keep kneading. Yep. Roll it toward, lift it, push it up, and then roll it back towards you. There you go. Put some muscle into it. There you go. Okay. There you go. Yep, yep, yep. Excellent, excellent. Perfect. Keep going. Fold it over on itself all the time. Okay. Now, you see how it's sticking in my hands a little bit? That tells me that we don't, it's a little bit wet. So I'm going to just add another pinch of flour and I'm going to sprinkle it all over. And that, this, you'll see that this flour is going to get absorbed right into the dough. Now, sometimes I only use one hand, but you see how I turn the dough? Every single time I turn it 20, 90 degrees and then I fold it on top of itself. Turn it, push, turn it, push. And it doesn't have to always be to the left, it could be to the right. You just need the dough to start coming together so that it looks nice and without lumps. So look at the dough on your hands. You see how it's kind of lumpy looking? Yeah. Does our dough look like that? No, because we keep kneading it. And what we're doing by kneading it is we're not only incorporating all the ingredients together, but we're giving the yeast an opportunity to start to develop to create these long strands of gluten that are gonna that are gonna rise when we let it rest. Okay. What, is the, what does the yeast do? The yeast the yeast turns into a gas when you bake it, and when it turns into a gas, what is when gas gets heated, gas expands, and that's what's gonna make your bread rise. Sounds like science class, right guys? It is science class. Okay, so do you see how all that flour that I just put smart, in is gone? I put that in there. I'm going to dump it, I'm going to mix it in. Okay? So, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. okay. So you want your dough to be a little bit sticky like this because it just will make give it a good rise. This one's still a little wet. And I think we probably have added a quarter cup. So the, the amount of liquid that we use really, really does matter. Okay. Okay. So it can rise. And the reason that I cover it is because if I don't cover it, then it'll get like this skin on the outside and it won't taste very good. This keeps the bread, the top of the bread that's exposed to the air, nice and moist. Okay. So now we need to take this. Do you ever put a few droplets of water on there? I don't. Um, 
What does that say on the clock? Um, this is a special challah cover that I use when I make um, dough, and it's a special blessing that um, that the special blessing that you can say when you take um, make you make a large amount of challah. And you take you separate a special piece of the challah that you would give to the the priestly tribe. Now, since we don't really have the priestly tribe these days, we usually just take that little piece of dough and we burn it um, or throw it away. So, um, so basically, in order for me to get the one the oven warm, the oven's not warm. It's cold. Put your hand in there. It's cold. Yeah. I need it warm a little bit. I'm going to put the oven on to the lowest temperature I possibly can, 175. Those are my ovens. I don't know what it warm would be Warm because yeast, yeast only grows when it's warm, right? And, and I only do it for a minute. So I'm going to turn off the oven after one minute. And we're going to leave it. We're going to set the timer for an hour. Mm -hmm. Remember, it's just rise for an hour. And then after it rises for an hour, we're going to come back and shape the bread. Okay, perfect. Now, take one in your hand, your right hand. So I'll do it right-handed. Put in your right hand. Squeeze it a little bit and mold it into a ball with your hand and then roll it like you're playing with Play-Doh, really. So you're going to make Play-Doh into a ball. That's it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be sort of round. Perfect. Now place it in the bowl. Okay? And they should be touching, but they shouldn't be squished. Okay? So you do another one. We're going to do 12 of them so that this whole tray is full of collar balls. Okay? Now our gravy, right? We strained it. See how mine's not totally okay. perfect? It doesn't have to be. It looks great. See how smooth it is? Mm -hmm. that will be back. But it's also kind of thin. It's not like gravy. It's more like soup. Gravy, you want it to be thicker. If you want yep. it soup. Perfect. So look at the back of the spoon. See how it doesn't really stick well to the back Okay, of the you do the rest. You want to try to get it to stick well to the back of the spoon. But you so how many have we done so far? We've done three, six, eight. So we should have four left. Perfect. So make them into balls. We probably can get one one more in there, and then we'll put the other four, three in the middle. And then when it's, we're going to let it rise again one more time for another hour. And we're going to save some because maybe it'll be thicker. Let that rise a little longer there. All right, so maybe an hour and 20 minutes for this. Okay, so this looks great. So just put those three in the middle like a triangle. Yep, wonderful. Looking Looking perfect. Perfect. Last big one. Yep. So we got plenty of room for. I like to watch bubbles. Sometimes I study the whole little sit of pan. Yep. Just fit it in there gently but nicely. Fantastic. Now we're done. So now what we have to do, just like with this hala, it has to rest again. It has to rest one more time. And it's, we're going to let it rest. And usually um, I should have let the, the first batch of dough rest a little longer. Um, so we're going to let this rest an hour and 15 minutes, so 75 minutes. I'll write all this down for you so that you have it. So let's open up the oven again. You can open up the oven for me. Yep, perfect. Like that. you cook it? Nope. Not yet. It's not ready to cook yet. But we're going to cover it again. This period is called the second resting period? Second rise. Second rise. We've got to cover it, Hannah, remember? Oh, yeah. So we're going to cover it. Now, what did I do? Do you remember what I did last time? I uh, warm it. I did warm it. I warmed it at 175. Start for one minute. Just one minute, and then we're going to turn it off again. And then we'll set a timer for 75 minutes. And once the 75 minutes are up, then we're going to bake it. With your um, hands, because your hands are clean, and just spread it on the bottom. All the way across. No more. Be generous with it. A lot more? Yep, a lot more. Yep, there you go. Lots, good. All right, that's it. Done. Done. Okay, that's it for now. Now we're going to put it back in the oven, let it go back where it was resting. 